Today we are going to discuss about advantages and disadvantages of hydro power plant. So welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Management. So let's see first of all the real image of the hydro power plant. And this hydro power plant that is at Baglihar in Jammu and Kashmir and having 450 megawatt capacity in stage 1 and then it is extended in stage 2 again 450 megawatt so the total capacity of this hydropower plant is 900 megawatt it is very important figure to understand the advantages and disadvantages of the hydropower plant here you can see the huge dimension of the hydropower plant now first let's start from the advantages of hydropower plant renewable hydropower is completely renewable which means it will never run out unless the water stops flowing. In short, once a dam is constructed, electricity can be produced at a constant rate with low operating cost. Next, green. Generating electricity with hydro energy is pollution free. The only pollution occurs during the construction of these massive power plants. So here you can see to produce this massive power plant pollution occurs. Next, reliable. Hydroelectricity is very reliable energy. There are very little fluctuation in terms of the electric power in case of hydropower plant. Countries that have large resources of hydropower use hydroelectricity as a base load energy source. Next, flexible. If electricity is not needed, the sluice gate can be shut and so that the stopping electricity generation. So here the gate is provided. The water can be saved for use another time when electricity demand is high. So very simple, if electricity is not needed, sluice gate can be shut and so that your production of electricity is stopped. Next, safe. Compared to other fossil fuels and nuclear energy, hydroelectricity is much safer. Hydroelectricity produced by plant does not produce any greenhouse gases. And you know that greenhouse gases are responsible for the greenhouse effect and due to that ozone depletion will occur. So ultimately we can say hydropower plant is much more safe compared to the other plant like nuclear power plant, thermal power plant etc. Next, tourist attraction. The lake that forms behind the dam, here you can see can be used for water sports and laser or you can say laser activities. Many times large dams become tourist attraction for the visitors. Next, irrigation. Hydroelectric power plant reservoirs collect rainwater which can then be used for the consumption or for irrigation. This water is used for the drinking purpose as well as for the irrigation purpose. In storing water, they protect the water tables against depletion and reduce damage against floods and droughts. Next, lifespan. Life of hydropower plant is approximately 100 to 125 years. For thermal power plant, it is only 20 to 25 years. So if you compare life of the thermal power plant with the hydro power plant, then there is a huge difference. Next, efficiency. Efficiency is more of hydro power plant and not affected by age. Now the disadvantages of hydro power plant. First, environmental consequences. The environmental consequences of hydro power are related to intervention in nature due to damming of water, change water flow and the construction of roads and power lines.
the flooding of large areas of land means that the natural environment is destroyed next expensive building power plant in general is expensive in fact hydroelectric power plants are more expensive dams are extremely expensive to build and here you can see the size of the dam and must be built to a very high standard the high cost of dam construction means that they must operate for many decades to become profitable so that is the big big disadvantages of the hydro power plant next droughts electricity generation and energy prices are directly related to how much water is available a drought could potentially affect this that means the shortage of rainfall that will be directly affect on the hydro power plant next limited reservoirs there are limited number of suitable reservoirs where hydroelectric power plants can be built and even less places where such projects are profitable so this is a very big disadvantage of the hydro power plant point number 1 limited reservoirs only available and even less places where such hydro power plants are profitable next danger to village people people living in villages and towns that are in the valley to be flooded must move out this means that they lose their farms and businesses next geological damage the building of large dams can cause serious geological damage for example the building of the hoover dam in the usa triggered a number of earthquakes so that is a best example of the geological damage next conflict between countries dams built blocking the progress of a river in one country usually means that the water supply from the same river in the following country is out of their control so that this can lead to serious problems between neighboring countries so particularly this situation is occurred when the river is passing through the two countries If you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends